Now take this question. If anyone is not getting, please let me know. So what all things they have given? It is traveling at 80 kmph. Just to travel a 40 kmph. Yeah, very good, very good everyone. So D1 will be equal to 40. Na? So 40 I have to convert into meter per second first. Divide by 3.6 or multiply with 5 by 18. Okay, both are correct. Into 2 seconds. That is the first step. What will be D2? Either I have to use VBT plus half KT square or I have to use VBT plus S1 plus S2. In the both case, I need a capital T. Correct? Right, so capital T is not given in the question. So both equation we have to we are not having complete value. So definitely have to calculate what is capital T. So in this case they have given S1 and S2. So it is not forest by 8, it is 2 into S1 plus S2 by 8. So 12 plus 14 divided by acceleration is 1. So it will be root of 52, 7.21 seconds. Correct now? Now you just can substitute this equation we already used. Huh? Just try this equation now. It is equal to VB how much? 40 by 3.6 into 7.21 plus 12 plus 40. What about D3? How much is D3? D3 will be equal to what will be D3? Sorry. D3 will be equal to 0. Okay, that you have to note it out there because it is given that it's a two-lane one-way road. Okay, very good. So whether you write that also, so that later also you will note it down. D3 equal to 0. What is the reason? What is the reason? Because it's a one way. Okay, there is no opposite vehicle. Now, what will be our uh, OSD? D1 plus D2 only. Okay, so overtaking side distance equal to D1 plus D2 only. That will be approximately equal to very good 128.3. If it is a multiple choice question, there may be an option like 0, uh, 130 and lot. T equal to 7.21, okay. T to 106, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, understanding what it is. Okay, in this case, we don't require the VA value. So, no need to convert to VA. If we see an opposite vehicle was there, then only we have to assume that it is equal to design speed or if it is not given equal to uh, A1, okay. See, in this case, suppose they are not giving you anything, it's a two-lane, one-way road. Then we'll assume it's the general case, we have to calculate VC also, okay? But the VC is not given, design speed is also not given, then we have to assume it is equal to VC into T equal to VA into T. That will be equal to the 80 by 3.6 into 7.21, correct now? In case, if it was given like this, it's a two-lane road, two lane, two way road or nothing is given also, general case. Then we have to assume like that. In this case, they have given that it's a one way. Then which means we don't have to calculate this because there is no opposite vehicle. It is equal to zero. Understanding everyone? Okay. Do this question also. I think, let's see. I will also solve it parallelly. What will be D1? D1 equal to VB in the small t. But VB is not given in the question. So what do you have to do? VB is equal to VA minus 16. VA is given as 90 kmph. Which means VB will be 90 minus 16 kilometer per hour. I have to convert into meter per second. So I am dividing with 3.6 now. Into 2 seconds. So you will get some value. Let it be there. What is D2? VB capital T plus half a t square. But acceleration is given, x acceleration is given, but capital T is not given. So either I can use this equation or I can use S1 plus S2. But S1 and S2 is not given. So what we are doing, we are assuming both are equal. So instead of S1 plus S2, I can write 2S, correct now, because it is not given. Now, since it is not given, what we have to do? We have to calculate our S value first. S is equal to 0 0.7 VB. What is VB? This is 74, na? 
74 by 3.6 plus EL value. Whether they have given any L value, not given. So I have to assume that it is 6 meter. So if you are calculating S value, you will get 20.388 like that. Na? So you take 389. So better take some 3 decimals so that more accurate answer you may be getting. Now I have to calculate capital D because they have not given. Actually question is 2 into S1 plus S2 but they have not given. So I'm assuming S1 equal to S2 equal to S. So for us by A, how much it will be? Root of 4 into 20.389 divided by the given acceleration 0 0.53. Okay, so if you are calculating, you will get 12.405, 12.405 seconds. Okay, so directly you can substitute here, 74 by 3.6 multiplied by 12.405 plus 2 times, what is your S value, 20.389. So you can calculate that, that is your D2, now what will be D3? Nothing but VC into capital D. But VC is not given. Whenever VC is not given, we have to check for the design speed. Design speed is given how much? 90. So 90 divided by 3.6 into how much is T value? 12.405 seconds. Okay. See one more thing. VA minus 16 kmps. Na? But they have not given the VA value. But they are told that Design speed is 90. Then we will assume our VA is equal to the design speed. That also you note it down somewhere. In case if they are not giving you the value of VA, for this we need VA, na? VA minus 16. In case if they are not giving you VA, we are assuming VA is equal to the design speed. Okay, in stopping side distance also we did the same thing. Na? Either they can give you the speed of the vehicle or they can give you simply the design speed of the road. Okay. Design speed is only for VC. Yes, we need, we have to take VC, but the VA is also not given. Na? In this case, VC is give, VA is given, not given. Whenever we, we, uh, A is not given, what you have to do? Here we need to calculate what is VB. So we will take VA is equal to design speed, that minus 60, like that. Okay? So that also you can calculate. So if you are taking D1 plus D2 plus D3, C equal to why you are taking D3 also because they have not given that it is a one way traffic. Okay, they already mentioned that it is a two lane with a two way traffic. If not mentioned also, it is our general case. So, finally, how much you are getting? Something 647 approximately. Approximately 647. One concept is there actually that you write it as a note. There is a concept of overtaking zone. Okay. First, I will tell you what it is. Overtaking zone. Overtaking zone means uh, in some locations, maybe the overtaking is prohibited. Okay. Overtaking is prohibited. It may be because the site restrictions, maybe, or uh, it may be dangerous to overtake sometimes or it's an important road where the overtaking is prohibited. You cannot overtake the vehicles, okay. In such areas, it's not overtaking zone, just leave it. Some areas, you may not be able to overtake uh, because of site restrictions or something, okay, site constraints. So maybe a long road, some three kilometer or four kilometer road, if you are not able to overtake the slow moving vehicles, what is the problem? If you are not able to overtake the vehicles for a very long distance of 3 or 4 or 5 kilometers, what is the problem? You see, it can be a hilly road sometimes. If it is a hilly road, it's very dangerous to overtake. Na? Sometimes if you are overtaking, you may be going into the valley. Correct? Na? It's a hilly type of road. Some this side it may be valley type. Okay? So some long, larger distance, if you are not able to overtake or overtaking is prohibited, because that much space may not be there, that's why side space may not be there, here it may be valley. Okay, so it's a top view, na? here it may be valley, here it may be hilly portion. So what is the problem if you are not having a chance to overtake for some 5 kilometer stretch of road? 
everyone has to follow this slow moving vehicles again and again correct na suppose some two three trucks are coming on that road almost some 5 kilometers or 4 kilometers you have to follow this truck correct na so everyone will come slowly 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 you have to go so that much travel time you have to spend travel time will increase like anything so much of vehicle will come and follow so large queue will start happening okay so why this is happening because you are not having space enough space on the left and right side so it may not be safe for overtaking while overtaking in case if you are going in this side you will go into the valley okay so what the government will do if a long stretch of road you are not able to do the overtaking procedure then what you have to do some area say i told you is is not safe to overtake that's why we are not overtaking that's why it is overtaking a bit of area what the government will do in some area in this long stretch we'll give some arrangement we may give some increase the width of the road or we'll make some arrangement to make it safe for overtaking it's a long stretch okay it's a long stretch of some 5 kilometers in that maybe at some locations maybe some 3 kilometers sorry some 1 kilometer or some 3 kilometers anything in between in that long stretch for some distance what we will do we'll arrange we'll give some provision for overtaking so that say the vehicles are coming we can start following 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 na some truck is there because okay all the vehicles are following following whenever it is reaching here then it can easily overtake because that space we have provided for overtaking procedure opposite also same okay that zone we call it as overtaking so understanding so you can write a sentence first overtaking zone what do you mean by overtaking zone in locations you can write a sentence in locations in some locations in some locations where the overtaking is prohibited in some locations where the overtaking is prohibited or overtaking is not possible overtaking is not possible because of site problems or site constraints because of site constraints c o n s T R A I N S site constraints. It may be a valley is there on the right side like that. Okay, because of site constraints, the travel time will increase. The travel time will increase. The travel time will increase because of slow moving vehicles. Because of slow moving vehicles. in such area in such area a portion of the road a portion of the road is to be provided for overtaking process is to be provided for overtaking process is to be provided for overtaking process such a zone is called as overtaking zone such a zone or such a portion of the road is called as overtaking zone we may be giving some increased width and all so that it is more safe that's it okay so some construction cost is involved in that it may be a valley portion so we have to make some arrangements somehow it may be a hilly area both place it may be hilly area so we have to cut the hill sometimes to make it by cutting the entire long stretch of 5 km it may be very costly that's why the overtaking is prohibited but somewhere we have to cut the hill and make some provision for overtaking that's it at least one more thing you can remember our desired value our desired length is desired length of overtaking zone okay desired length of overtaking zone is equal to 5 times your overtaking site distance Desired length of overtaking zone is equal to five times the overtaking site distance. If that much is not possible, at least 
minimum length okay minimum length is equal to 3 times overtaking sighted distance it's a theory portion you can remember this remember what is overtaking zone maybe they will give some definition and they will ask you what it is as of now nothing but remember it we don't know what they are going to ask in the exam now so desirable length is 5 times OSD because everyone is uh, waiting for their chance now so we have to give something more than the required OSD of a particular vehicle everyone is waiting for their chance so 5 times OSD have to give and the minimum length is if 5 times is not possible at least try to give 3 times overtaking sighted distance understood so that's your overtaking zone that you remember is a theory concept if they want to ask you they can ask you a, a common data question also a two mark question they may ask you for OSD and a one mark question they can ask you what is the desirable length of OSD uh, overtaking zone like that 